Oh, so some update to the theft of um, £700 by the bailiffs. Um, firstly, I just wanted to, I don't know if I mentioned this in the first video, but he revealed to me that um, Northampton County Court, which um, I've been told is just a bulk clearing centre, uh, I don't think there's any judges there or any anyone anything like that, they, they issue 35,000 warrants every week. And uh, as I mentioned in the last film, they could end up getting up to three or four thousand pounds from them and leave them without a car. So it's uh, quite a serious situation. And uh, 35,000 of these a week. And I think most people are pretty horrified by it. Uh, so anyway, I just thought one other little funny thing is that not only was it 700 pounds, but it was also one pound 25 uh, f handling fee to use Visa but thankfully I did use Visa and I called up my bank now I know you know you, you probably realize that my views on banks are that they're basically uh, kind of very dodgy institutions that create money out of nowhere and charge us then for them but as dodgy institutions go I must say that my bank even though uh, it's part of HSBC who have been recently done for um, to offering services to drugs dealers and gun runners. Uh, the branch that I'm involved with, which is First Direct, I must say, as, as a mafia organisation, they are extremely uh, good um, <laughs> as things go. So I've got a lot of, uh, you know, I've got a lot of respect for them. You know, some mafias work very efficiently. So anyway, uh, First Direct, I called the First Direct up and I reported um, the company Newland and the guy that did it for, I reported them for fraud. I said they didn't have the right, um, they didn't have any signed warrant, they didn't have any proof that I actually owed them any money and they threatened me and that I only signed uh, under duress. And the woman at the end of the line was absolutely horrified by this and she uh, said she's going to get back to me. She got back to me yesterday and she, and, and she said she's reported it for fraud to her fraud department. They're going to contact the police and they're going to refund me the full money. So um, very exciting news and uh, for those out there that are being um, bullied and threatened by these bailiffs, there's an, an interesting little piece of information for you and I'll keep you posted.